Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. I thought I'd start off this morning with uh, perhaps an introduction. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, my name is John Guru. I am from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas. And every morning I get up and read uh, from the Revised Common Lectionary. And if you look on the description of this video, there's a link uh, to where I get the readings from, and you can subscribe and get them. Uh, I usually, I will always uh, read from my uh, iPad just because I can make the font bigger and I can see it. So, uh, with that, I'm and also I, I am not a pastor. I'm just a lay person who decided to get up and do this, and this was, uh, it's been over three years now, so every morning I get up and do this, and every once in a while I miss, but uh, most every morning. So, let's get started. This morning, we're going to start off in Psalm 13, and then we have a reading in Genesis, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So, Psalm 13, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, we've got a short one in the, the Old Testament lesson this morning. Genesis chapter 26, verses 23 through 25. And here we go. From there he went to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, your father. Fear not, for I am with you, and will bless you and multiply your offspring for my servant Abraham's sake. So he built an altar there, and called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent there. And there Isaac's servant dug a well. Short and sweet. All right, next we're going to the Gospel of Luke, and it's, it's another short one. Uh, Luke chapter 17, verses 1 through 4. And this is concerning the temptations to sin. And he said to his disciples, Temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to the one through whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were cast into the sea than that, than that he should cause one of these little ones to sin. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent. You must forgive him. And this is the word of the Lord. And uh, there's one of my ramblings. Um, it's my understanding, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, the millstone hung around his neck. And it's my understanding that the, the priest and pastors who wear the white collar, uh, that's supposed to represent a, a millstone. That's what I've heard uh, and read. I don't even remember where I read it, but I just thought that was interesting. All right, well, this is the word of the Lord, and now let's go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. For July 1st, as well, this year is going by, let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you called Cornelius the Gentile soldier to hear the word proclaimed for his salvation, and that his household, <clears throat> and that of his household, as he responded to the hearing of your word with the giving of alms, so also May we be led to acts of mercy and charity as we embody Christ in our daily lives. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, once again, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, feel free to share it with uh, whoever. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. And I have someone who wants to say bye. You want to say bye? God bless.